This is New Cap Sports with Brett Morton. The Lakeland Russell futsal teams wrapped up their second qualifying tournament today. Both clubs were in action against the Keanu Huskies. Well, the ladies up first here scoreless game when the Russers with a sloppy turnover in Manhattan McGillis. She fires at home to give the Huskies a 1-0 lead there. Not a good play by the Russers while the Russers looking to tie it up. A pass finds Sarah Patterson and she's going to put this one home and we're all even up at one. Well, off the inbound here, Barbara Niska Mako puts it off the post and in the Huskies. They go up two to one there. Well, Miss Comento, she will add her second of the game as it goes in off in the Cole Parrot and the Huskies win it three to one. After the game, we spoke with head coach Kevin Wagner about the ladies' weekend. Poor weekend for our, our female program. Um, you know, one win, two losses. Uh, critical errors. I think the mental piece was lacking still. So. Um, I was disappointed in our results um, and for the most part our performances. Well to the men's game now and the Russers forced to turn over and Stefan Kukovic is going to put on a show. Watch this one here. Boom, undresses three to Huskies there, slides it into the open net. The Rustlers are up 1-0. That celebration says it all while the Rustlers, they're going to force another turnover here. And it's going to be Shane Rayoum. He's going to get help from the Huskies D. And it's now 2-0 for Lake Landwell. Huskies, they tied it up at 2 and Pedro Branco. Fires this one upstairs. The Huskies lead at 3-2. Justin Warmlinger, he says not that today. He's going to tie it up at 3. That was the score at the half. Well, in the second half, it was a good start for the Rustlers. James Wood throws it to Braden Betzer, heads it to Kukovic. He taps it home for his second of the game, and it's now 5-4 Russers. Well, the Huskies now lead 6-5 here. Wood, he's going to fire it up to Kukovic, spins off the defender, fires it home for his third goal of the game, and the Russers, they tie it up at 6. Well, Santiago Ragoza here, he's going to put this one away as he scores that game winner. The Huskies, they win this one 7-6. We were up 2-0, we went down 3-2, um, so we did come back, so we got some the mental pieces there for us. Uh, now I've got to get Braden back uh, to scoring some, and Lewis and um, Corbin, um, but overall throughout the, you know, the six games we played, it has been spread out, um, but uh, um, we needed, you know, the front players have been good, now we, in the attack, now it's just our back players, so the Darko's, Justin's, um, you know, threats in a few more places. Well, Minster Banda Pipeline Bobcats wrapped up their regular season today at home. The Cats have already secured first place in the North Division and a first round bye in the playoffs. Well, we're going to pick this one up in the third. Cats on that power play and are down 5-4 after Zane Franklin cut the lead to one. Well, Chase Waters, look at this four check here. Gets the board, uh, the board battle there, picks the puck up. He's going to walk out and he snipes this one upstairs. This game is tied up at five. What an effort there by Chase Waters. Well, now we're going to move to the late third. The Cats there looking for more Franklin. He gets away with the penalty there. Sets up Bryce Kindop who beats the goalie, but the puck just triple, trickles wide. This one ends in a 5-5. Five tie and it was a great season by the Cats. They finished with the 26-5-3 record and set a new AMHL record for most points in a season with 55. We're a short staff today and I thought the boys gave a gave a good effort. You know, it, it, uh, it's a tough one, right? It's a nothing game for us, but the boys showed up and played. You know, not our best hockey, but they competed. With the regular season now over and the Cats winning the North Division, that means they now have a first round bye in the playoffs, which is much needed. We want to have home ice, you know, in the playoffs, so it's nice to get a, get that and then have a bye too. You know, we've got some nicks and some bruises in there, so uh, it's always nice to get some rest and get the boys healthy for a long playoff uh, run. And as cliche as the saying is, the Cats will stick to their bread and butter throughout the playoffs. And it all starts in the D zone. If you're taking care of uh, that area, you know, you're going to be successful. And uh, that's why we, I thought this year, you know, we've only given up, I don't know, maybe 61 goals, 62 goals all year. So um, hats off to the boys that take pride in that. And, you know, um, I think in playoffs, that'll be key. The Cats will have to wait until the first round is over to see who they play in the second round. That series starts at home on February 24th.